we'll be resuming in-person communion on Sunday, May 23rd. And there are going to be some things that are different about it, in large part because we need to be able to commune safely. COVID-19 has forced us to reassess how we do distribution. Now, here at Trinity, we're accustomed to a couple of things that we can trust are going to happen. The bread will be served on a plate, and the pastor will break it and hand it to you as you come up. And then the wine will be served in the cup. And you have your choice of either dipping your bread into the cup or drinking from the cup that everyone else drinks from. Now, I have insisted for ages and continue to insist that drinking from the common cup, when done properly, is very safe. If you wipe the rim of the cup and turn it carefully as you go, everyone gets no slobber. They get only wine. It is safe. Dipping the bread is actually one of the messier things you can do because whatever is on your hands is in the cup. And of course, my handing you the bread with my bare hands, that, this is probably the only food service you would ever encounter where you don't worry that someone is handing you your food with bare hands that they used just now to break it. COVID-19 has forced us to reassess those things. I'm not too keen on drinking from a common cup, and I definitely am not interested in dipping my hand in one everybody else has had their hand in. And I'm not too keen on serving you with my bare hands, because that's just weird. So what are we going to do? One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to prep the bread ahead of time. This is one of those things, that, and I really can't tell you why, but prior to coronavirus, I would have said, oh gosh, don't do that. Well, now I think it's the best way to make sure the pastors or whoever is serving communion doesn't have to worry about how they're going to get the loaf broken apart. Someone who has washed their hands ahead of time is going to cut the bread up before we get going. That might be the pastor who does that, but it'll be done in a clean and sanitary way. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to drink from individual cups. Now, I grew up on using much smaller individual cups. One of the things we learned in in liturgical renewal over the last 50, 70 years is communion before it was anything was a meal. So the cups that we're going to use are a little larger than those ones that we used before. And they're an easier target for someone to pour wine into. When it comes time for distribution, outside or inside, you'll get your cup on the way to the front. We'll offer you the bread using tongs so that the presider doesn't have to handle it with their own hands. The body of Christ given for you. Wine then comes from the pouring chalice. We're using a flagon today, but the same idea. We only put a little bit in the flagon today. The blood of Christ is for you. You're not gonna get a full glass, but it might be a little bit more than you're used to getting. If it's more than you want, it's okay. Take what you want and leave your glass on the tray for the ones that have been used. We'll wash them after the service. One of the most important things that we want to make sure we capture in celebrating Holy Communion is that it is a meal for all of us. Holy Communion is food and drink. In, in the earliest days of the church, that would have been understood as, as dinner. And certainly, you would have gotten a piece of bread that was enough to satisfy you and enough wine that you felt like you'd had something to drink. Now, that's not how we understand communion necessarily. If you want to eat and drink dinner, you go do that some other time. Nonetheless, it is a meal. When we celebrated the Passion of our Lord, you might remember that I stood at this table for the portion in which Jesus says the words of institution. I did that on purpose. Jesus sets up a meal, and it's a meal that we share with each other. So that is what we're trying to recapture. And that is what we hope to be able to do when we see you on May 23rd. Thank you.